okay uh, that this one uh, this should be the final uh, lecture for artificial neural network uh, actually we try to discuss uh, some uh, actually is a kind of a tutorial uh, I, I just want to show you some example of hand calculation here as you can see that um, I think during the uh, I think one of the feedback I get uh, feedback from the first lecture some of the student uh, one of the student asked about the uh, is there any example uh, related to hand calculation so this is the example that I want to to, to discuss in, in this uh, lectures so again I, I'm using uh, the example that we have discussed before that we we do some der derivation on, on, on this one of course when you do the hand calculation you don't have to to uh, derive this equation anymore because you can simply if you know the, the formula you can just uh, 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 put the numbers and then based on the formula then you can uh, get the, the the result there. Okay, you can read the first question there. Later, I will tr I will you can refer to the this slide. I will upload in the e-learnings. Then you can see the the this this slide there, and I try to uh, do some uh, uh, exercise there to 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 do this one. Please please do that. Okay, okay. This is the uh, example of the question there. After initialization during training session, W13, okay, this is W13, is equal to 0 0.15. Just assume that uh, during when when you develop the code, okay, just imagine that when you develop code that represent this neural network, and during the training session means that you are do you are doing a training means means that you are implementing the back propagation for this uh, neural network. Uh, the the purpose is to find the the optimum w but uh, uh, in uh, uh, during the th that training process in the middle at the at the middle process there okay after you initialize during the training session okay assume that you are using a random number to set your your w there so just assume when you apply the random number uh, the w13 is equal 0 0.15 so uh, how you get this one is a random number is a is generated by the computer just assume that okay w13 is equal 0 0.15 w23 is equal 0 0.2 zyber 14 is equal 0 0.25 and so on okay up until you will have as well as a bias there b3 and b4 is equal to 0 0.35 while b6 and v5 is equal to 0 0.6 so given a sample of training data whereby the x1 is equal to 0 0.01 and x2 is zero, uh, equal to 0 0.10 and this is the actual output y1 is equal to 0 0.01 and y2 is equal to 0 0.99 so the equation is calculate the total error during forward pass so what is meaning by total error the, you need to remember that if you have two output like this the total error should be you need to total up between the error happen at the uh, at the output one and error happen, happen at the y uh, at the output two then you need to total up that is total error but let's say if your architecture have only one output so that's mean the total error should be only the, the error that happen at that output okay so then again you need to do what you need to do then you just can you need to level up everything according to the the, que the given questions there and then of course uh, to get the error you need to implement the forward pass of course even the question they asking about calculate the error total error during the forward pass so then you need to go from this uh, side into these sites to calculate the errors there is a direct questions there okay then you need to proceed at the first layer uh, I'm sorry you need to proceed at the hidden layer first so based on the equation there you can find the net tree is equal to 0 0.335 and then from the net tree you can obtain the uh, the 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 O3 forget to 
yep, you need to also see in this question to assume the activation function f for each neuron is a seed mode function. So that's why here you are just implementing the seed mode function. Then you can get uh, the O3, and then you repeat the process again for uh, to to find the O4 there. I I hope I hope uh, later you can try to calculate this one to check whether this uh, the as this answer is correct or not. Okay, you need to repeat this process again for O to find the O4 there. And then uh, after you find O3 and O4, of course you can proceed into uh, output layers there. Then you just calculate. Then you get the net five, uh, and then from the net five you get the O5, and then you need to repeat the same process for to find the O6 there. So you want to find the O6, and and then of course the O5 and O6 over here should be your Y hit one and Y hit two there. Okay, if you check back the pictures there, okay, this is O5 here, this is O6 here, so it means that Y1 should be equal to O5, Y2 hit here should be equal to O6, so it's a direct set. Okay, so finally to find the total error, you need to calculate the E1 and E2, so of course E1 there is equal to this equation. Okay, SSD, and then uh, this one is this value come from your uh, your your hand calculation there. Result from here zero point seven five seven five one four, and then this one is come from the question. Remember that this is actual Y one. Okay, actual Y one is what is the actual Y one? Is zero point zero one. So then you need to calculate, uh, repeat the same process to calculate the E2. Once you get the E2, then you total up your the error. Then it, it, you finally you get the total errors there. Okay, now that is finished for one question there. It's a very direct and it's not so difficult to do that. Okay, uh, this is the second question. The question is also related to the 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 question number one there. This the second question is related to the the first question. Okay, based on answer in the previous question, execute the backward pass and calculate all wake up data. Means that you need to calculate all the wake up data of uh, W13, W23 up until W46. Um, yep, I'm sorry. This should be. This is also. This none should be. They have a triangles there. Yeah, this should be triangles. So. Uh, calculate, calculate all the wake updater as well the uh, updater for the bias as well okay this one should be also have the triangles okay and then once you find the updater after that okay after that find the update or the new week means that uh, you need to calculate the new week of the W13 up until W46 as well as B3, B4, B5 and B6 means that once you find the updater you need to update the all the, the, the parameters here uh, after executing the backward pass and then uh, the equation also is here given the this is the equation for the updater and then this is the learning rate 0 0.5 and then uh, in the equation I also give you uh, Handicap there means that you don't have to to remember the this this uh, function. I I already give in the question, okay. But uh, you need to learn how to derive from from sigmoid, okay. Because if your f if your f is equal to sigmoid, can you derive uh, prove that uh, f uh, the, the derivative of f is equal to uh, f one minus F there, so that is that is your 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 homework there because uh, I think you I believe that you learn this in your foundation or sec your your matriculations, okay, okay how to calculate this one, okay just remember again this is what we find uh, what we get in 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 the first question there we we might then we get the file the total error should be equal to zero point two nine eight eight four there. Again, uh, if you talk about the backward pass, this is the pictures. 
Okay, and then again, uh, the E5 and E6 there, the definition is this one. So this one I, I don't have to derive anymore because we already do a lot of calculation to derive all of it. How actually the E5 and E6 equal to this one uh, is, is from the long derivation there. So then then uh, because this is about backward pass, you need to start at the output layer because it's going from this side into that side. Okay, so that is the how we compute first you need to calculate the e5 and then from the e5 you know how to calculate the delta 5 okay delta 5 is equal to uh, f apostrophe multiply with e5 this one because this is seat, seat point then it become this one and then uh, so this one is equal to this one if you talk about the uh, the the uh yeah, the neuron 5 there and then okay for all five here you you need to where, where you get the 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 value for all five is 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 um is come from the first question when you calculate if you remember that when you calculate there the all five you get which is this one yeah 0 0.7514 so that that's why uh in this question back will pass is is depending on the forward pass because many variables at the forward pass will be bring to the backward pass to calculate uh, the 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 updates there. So the O5 is, is equal to 0 0.7514. So that is where you where you obtain this one 0 0.7514. Okay. So if you calculate this one, this error E5 is come from here. Then you calculate, then you get delta 5. Once you get the delta 5 then you can find the updater for w35 by using this equation where the learning rate is have been given at the question 0 0.5 this one is come from the calculation here and then the o3 is also come from the uh, first question when you execute the uh, forward pass okay 0 0.3 is equal to uh, i'm sorry uh, o3 is equal to uh, this one o3 is equal to 0 0.5932 okay 0 0.5932 then you get the updater for w35 uh, of course uh, to find the updater for w45 you need to repeat the same process again as this one okay but uh, you can see that uh, for this one because you already calculate here then you just can use it okay, your delta 5 is equal to this one 0 0.1385 multiply with 0 0.5 and multiply with 04 so how to get the 04 of course the 04 is also come from the first question there the 04 is uh, equal to 0 0.5969 uh, nice here And then you you also as uh, do the same things for bias there B five, uh, B five is just multiply between the learning rate there zero point five and your delta five, then you get the updater for B five. Okay, so then uh, you need to repeat the same process, uh, the same concept again for neuron or not number six then you will get the updater for w36 w46 and uh, bias number six and then we execute uh, for hidden layer okay we already finished that the output layer then we do the for the hidden layer for hidden layer the e3 just remember if you talk about the simple a and that we discuss in these pictures okay in these pictures then the e3 should equal to this one multiply with this one plus this one multiply with this one okay e4 is equal to uh, this one multiply with this one and this one multiply with this one okay so so that's how you calculate the e there 
So that is the how how actually that that happen. Okay, it's, it's have, this one have improved and during the derivation how actually we can uh, end up in this this kind of uh, formula. Okay, you need to refer to the 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 the, the slide that uh, we we di we discuss a very very long long discussion on how to derive that. And then uh, W35 is 0 0.4. Okay, uh, then. Okay, uh, you can see you can see here. Please do not update the W first. Let find all the updater first before and and after you find the all the updater, then you need to update all the W. You can see that's why I in the questions there even I I ask you to find all the updater first. Then once you find the, all the updater, after that then you update your W because if you update uh, earlier. Then it you might have make uh, some careless mistake mistake there because uh, when you apply when you want to uh, find the updater for uh, output layer it's not a problem but when you find when you want to find the updater for hidden layer here if you update earlier this W35 and W45 then your E is wrong because you are using the new W35 and W36 to calculate the E3. So so that's why don't update after you, uh, don't don't update your your week uh, before you can get all the updater of the whole neural neural networks. Okay, so so that's why we use the old or the 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 initial uh, W there W three five is zero point five six which is not updated yet. This is old. This is the old W three five and this is the old W three six. And then you, for, you multiply, and then you plus with the delta there. You will get uh, the E3. Once you get the E3, from the E3 there, you can calculate the delta 3. Uh, so this one is uh, the same process again. This formula is similar to the uh, as as the neuron in in uh, output layers. Then you key in all the you 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 put in all the numbers there. Then you get the delta three is equal to zero point zero zero eight eight. Okay, and then at the end you find out that your W one three is equal to equal to zero point zero 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 two, while your W uh, I'm sorry the your updater of W two three is equal to zero point zero zero four, and then. Same goes to bias there. The bias, uh, the updater for bias three is equal to to zero point zero zero four four, and then you need to repeat the same process again for neuron na or node number four. Then you got you get the updater for W one four, and the updater for W two four, and the updater for bias four. Okay, and then finally, that is how we do that. Okay, at the output layer, this is what you get. This is this is the all the parameters for the updater related to the output layer, and um, and then you can use the formula to update your Ws there. So that's why in your new Ws there, W three five is equal to zero point three five six zero, and then um. um the B5 there is equal to 0 0.5304 and then if you repeat or the other parameter then you you will get zero f uh, the, the new W46 is equal to this and W36 is equal to this and W46 is equal to this okay and then uh, this is for the uh, yep this is for W that involved at the hidden layer Okay, the W13, the new the new W13 is this one, W14 is this one, W223 uh, is this one, and W24 is this one. Okay. 